What's your opinion of milk glass? Do you love it? Would you pass on it? Keep watching to find out if I bought this lot of milk glass. Well, hey there everyone. Welcome to my channel, Kibis Collectibles. I'm Pam, and today we are shopping at the Camden Goodwill. I live in South Carolina, and you know, I'd love to know where you are from. So leave me a comment down below letting me know what part of the country you live in. But let's go ahead and get into this video. I found some interesting things at the Camden Goodwill. First off, check out this cute little cookie jar. It's a purse cookie jar, and you'll find these in Walmart around Christmas time. And by the looks of it, it looks to be in pretty good condition. Take a look at this Spode Blue Room Collection coffee mug. It has the Aesop's Fables tortoise and hare motif. I've seen a few of these sold on eBay in January for about $16 to $18. It was so pretty, but it had a chip on it, so I had to leave it behind. I found a Courier and Ives decorative wall plate. This brass sleigh would be great to use in your decor at Christmas time. Then I spotted this Franciscan Ivy. It was a bowl and a saucer. And I looked both of these up on eBay. And for the bowl, you may get 15 and for the saucer, maybe five. I found some milk glass today. This is the Indiana Glass Harvest Grape footed goblets there were at least five and this reminds me of the eo brody bowls it has a date on the bottom that reads 1975. and on this shelf are milk glass punch cups there were five in all with a tiny string around them so it looks like they were previously in someone's vintage booth for sale let me know your thoughts on milk glass would you buy it? Do you collect it? If you have a booth and have milk glass for sale, how much of it do you sell? And does it sit on the shelves for a while? Sometimes I see it out in the wild and I wonder, should I buy it? Should I leave it? Let me know your thoughts on milk glass and should I always buy it when I see it out in the wild? I found more of my favorite Pyrex glass containers. Y'all, if you don't have these, you are so missing out. I spotted this cute little bell. You know, belts, they don't sell very well, but I thought it was so pretty. Even Avon was getting in on the milk glass trend at one point. Check this out. And again, it was in someone's booth and they couldn't sell it. What's up with that, y'all? Here we have a McDonald's Walt Disney World 100 Years of Magic 25th Anniversary Glasses. I found this set. It had Buzz Lightyear, Shrek, some classic characters. There's Puss in Boots. And on the end, we have Donald Duck. These would probably sell on eBay for about $5 each.
This was one of the most beautiful pieces that I saw on today's trip. It is a glass center handle tray. The lace design was so pretty, and I'm wondering if it may have been made by Viking. Let me know down below if you know anything about that tray. We've got three of the 12 Days of Christmas glass mugs. have a little itty bitty green pottery piece. This is a little picture. It says Williamsburg Handmade Pottery on the back. 99 cents is all. I will say that today in this Camden Goodwill, I was impressed with their prices. There were a lot of things that I looked at that were 99 cents, $1.99, I just was so happy to be in a store where everything wasn't $6.99, $7.99, $8.99. It was quite refreshing to be in this Camden Goodwill today with some reasonable prices. The pickle jars were great, but no lids. Come on, we need the lids. These vintage salt and pepper shakers had that string around the bottom. I'm wondering if this vendor decided just to quit their booth, some people do, or if these were things that they couldn't sell. These three vintage trays were in really good condition. Normally when I find these trays, they have been through the ringer, but these looked pretty good. And I noticed this piece kind of at the back of the shelf. I thought it was so pretty. I could not believe it wasn't chipped or cracked. It was such a lovely piece. Look how pretty these decorative wall plates are. It says hand painted on the back. I found this Whitman Chinese Checkers game. I believe it's from the 1960s. I tried to take a look-see inside because I'm always on the hunt for the solid wooden boards and this one had a cardboard board game. I oftentimes buy puzzles from the Goodwill and check out these decks of cards. They're all unopened, ready to go, 99 cents. You can't beat it. I saw this wine bottle holder. It's made out of wicker, but I was struggling to find the price. I, I just don't know. I couldn't find the price anywhere. You let me know if you see the price on this piece. Let me know how much it is. I couldn't find it. Come on, Goodwill. This was a very pretty vase, but again, the string. I'm getting really concerned about this vendor that donated all their things to Goodwill. I, I've gotta know the story. What's going on? When you're at Goodwill, make sure you stop off at the art section. Oftentimes I stroll through and I don't find anything, but then there are some fun little gems that stick out like this piece. And this one is a lot of fun. Look at that beautiful hummingbird. And of course, these two, what? I loved these pieces. They were so different, completely filthy, 
but everything can be cleaned. The Camden Goodwill is one of the stores that puts a lot of their hard goods, different types of merchandise on top of the racks in trays. I don't mind digging through these because it's not a huge amount. I don't get overwhelmed and I can usually find a treasure or two. Although some of our Goodwills where I live have a designated space for Christmas items, you're still going to find them just willy-nilly, random, anywhere in the store. I have a weakness for vintage stationery. It just doesn't sell well in my booth, so I don't pick it up to sell but I do sometimes pick it up for myself. Oh, that's cute. A little salt and pepper caddy. Oh, I love these bowls with the pedestal. But what is that in the middle? I'm not quite sure about that. Here we have a case full of eight track tapes. I don't know if you remember the 8-track tapes. We have Loretta Lynn, George Jones, the Moody Blues. There's some good ones in here. But honestly, I think for $23.99, the case is more valuable than the 8-track tapes at this point. Take a look at these. Look at those beautiful amber carnival glass bowls. It looks like they may have had little feet at the bottom, but they were divided. At least the top one was a divided dish. This is such a beauty. Look at this gorgeous pink depression glass bowl. It was in really good condition. I thought it was gorgeous. And then I looked a little bit over to my right and found this. I believe this is an like an ice bucket, beautiful etching. And then I saw this great Lazy Susan. I don't know what it's for, maybe condiments, but I do love a Lazy Susan. Did you notice this cool carafe? I thought it was so wonderful. I love that shape. It reminded me of a space capsule. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is an espresso cup and saucer. Let me know. I don't drink espresso, coffee, cappuccino, or any of those. I only drink Coke. So let me know down below what it was. Oh, here is another cute little model kit that you can pick up from Home Depot or Lowe's. I think this one is Lowe's. This little wooden bowl is so cute. It's in the shape of a rhombus or better known as a diamond. It is so cute. And you know I love those wooden bowls. Doodle Roo, you left your bag at Goodwill. It's not a bad looking bag either, but I'm taking a look at this wooden bowl. I think it would be great to sit out on the counter with your fruit. It's in really good condition.
I had to get the cute little gnome from the beginning of the video. He is hanging from a rope and I think he would be perfect on someone's back porch just hanging around. You know it is getting springtime especially down here in the south and gnomes are so adorable hanging on your back porch or hanging out in your back garden. I picked up the little wooden rhombus because I can always use little bowls around the house. I throw my chapstick in it or spare change, just anything. It's good to have around and it's a great place to keep all of your this and that's. So I'm gonna hang on to this cutie. I found this pair of medieval rubbing prints. I thought they were stunning in the store, filthy, 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 but I cleaned them up and they have become so vibrant and beautiful. I am going to be selling these in my booth at Not Forgotten, so I'm just excited to display these and get them out there for someone to love. Okay, that's going to do it, everyone. Thank you for shopping along with me today. If you enjoy this type of content, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. If you would like this video, leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow. So until next time, everyone, bye-bye.